Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here, and today we're going to be doing a video that was requested by you, and that was how to catch a pass along the boards. So in this video, we're going to be showing you exactly how to do that, how to catch a breakout pass along the boards. We're going to be filming this with special guest pro coach Lee Elias, and he's going to be giving us all the tips that we need to make sure that we can do this anytime in a game. Let's get to it. Obviously, the best way to catch a pass is right on your backhand or forehand. If your defenseman's able to do so, get the puck, but get your head up, make a good pass to the center, or find your own lane to get out of the zone. But at all costs, get the puck out. Sometimes defense don't have the time to pass the puck on your stick and it ends up rolling around the boards. Using your feet to stop the puck and then kick it up to your stick is the best option to get the puck out in these scenarios. Both of your feet can be used for the breakout depending how quickly you get to the boards. Whether it's your front foot or back foot, learning how to angle your skate to get the puck up to your stick and find the breakout option is very important. Sometimes breakout passes get to you and you're under pressure. Learn how to escape these situations, either by putting the puck back to the defenseman or angling it out with a puck off the boards. It's very important when doing this to make sure that the puck is high off the glass to get over the defenseman at the blue line. The best possible position to be in when breaking out is to have your butt on the board and your stick in front of you. When possible, it's best not to be stationary on the boards. The optimal way to break out is with speed. So if you can, make sure you're moving up the boards with your skates moving. This forces the opposing team to have to leave the zone opposed to get on you. Unless you're absolutely out of time, you should try never to catch the puck just with your stick on the boards. This is a bad habit that hockey players don't want to get. When facing the glass, you're unprotected. This means an opposing player could come at you and hit you before you even have a chance to make a pass out of the zone. If you're a winger or an offenseman in general, this is a great skill that you need to learn. Make sure you practice this with your coach at practice and learn how to get the puck off the boards and get it out as quickly as possible. The ability for defensemen, wingers, and centers to work together on a breakout is a major key to you finding success on the ice. Make sure you practice this with your team and ask your coach to give you shots around the boards to make sure you can get it out. Because your choice of skates shouldn't be based on which ones you think look the best or which ones your favorite player are using or a pair that maybe a friend recommended. There's a couple of things you need to keep in mind when you're looking for a brand new pair of hockey skates, and that's exactly what we're going to touch on in this video. Let's get to it. If I owned a hockey store, the way I would do it is every single person that came into that store to buy a pair of skates, I would put a blindfold on them. Because your decision of which skates you want to go with should have nothing to do with what they look like. First and foremost should be the fit. Right off the back of that should be the comfort. And then next is going to be the support level that the skate offers you. Now what I mean by that, if we're for example